Hi everyone, this is Tutor Marife MCP. I create math video lessons that could serve as your supplemental learning resources. In this video, I will teach you how to solve for x using the secant secant power theorem. This is the given figure. We have a circle and two secant segments drawn from an external point. What is a secant segment? A secant segment is a line segment intersecting the circle at exactly two points. Okay? And what does secant secant power theorem state? It states that when two secant segments are drawn from an external point to the circle, the product of the measures of one secant's external part and that entire secant is equal to the product of the measures of the other secant's external part and that entire secant. In other words, in forming our equation by application of the secant-secant power theorem, we follow the pattern external times entire equals external times entire. Following this pattern is simpler and easier to remember than the lengthy statement of the secant-secant power theorem. Okay? Let's focus on the left side of the equation and on the first secant segment in the figure. The external portion of the secant segment is the portion that lies outside the circle because external means outside. Its length is given and it's equal to 4 units. So you replace this word with its value. It's equal to 4. Multiplied by the entire secant segment. The entire secant segment is the sum of the external portion and the internal portion. So adding up 4 and the expression x minus 3 will equal the whole secant segment. Okay, so we replace this word with the expression 4 plus x minus 3. We follow the same pattern for the right side of the equation. Focus on the other secant segment. External is given. Its length is equal to 5 units. The entire secant segment is the sum of the external and the internal parts. So it's equal to 5 plus the expression representing the internal part's length, x minus 6. Okay, so it's 5 multiplied by the expression 5 plus x minus 6. Okay, our goal is to solve for x. In solving any equation involving grouping symbols, we have to simplify the expression within the grouping symbols. Okay, so combine constant terms inside the parentheses. 4 minus 3 is 1. X plus 1. This is the simplified form of this expression. And this expression is multiplied by the external part, which is equal to 4. We also simplify the expression inside the parentheses on the right side of the equation. 5 minus 6 equals negative 1. This expression is simplified into x minus 1. Multiply this by the external part, which is equal to 5. Eliminate parentheses by distributive property of multiplication. Distribute 4 into each of the term inside the parentheses. 4 times x is equal to 4x. 4 times 1 equals 4. The left side becomes 4x plus 4. Distribute 5 into each term inside the parentheses. 5 times x equals 5x. 5 times negative 1 equals negative 5. The right side becomes 5x minus 5. Collect 
x terms on the left side of the equation, collect constant terms on the right side of the equation. Eliminate the constant term on the left side of the equation. Use subtraction property of equality. Subtract 4 from both sides of the equation. Left side minus 4, right side minus 4. Additive inverses cancel out each other. The left side becomes 4x. The right side becomes 5x minus 9. Negative 5 minus 4 equals negative 9. Eliminate the x term on the right side of the equation. Use subtraction property of equality. Subtract 5x from both sides of the equation. Left side minus 5x. Right side minus 5x. Additive inverses cancel out each other on the right side of the equation. The right side becomes negative 9. The left side becomes 4x minus 5x or negative x. The numerical coefficient of negative x is negative 1. Make it positive 1. Divide both sides of the equation by negative 1. It is the application of the division property of equality. Left side divided by negative 1. Right side divided by negative 1. Cancel out negative 1s. X is isolated on the left side of the equation. And its value is negative 9 divided by negative 1 or 9. This is our answer. Let's validate our answer. If x is equal to 9, the internal part of this secant segment is equal to 9 minus 3 or 6 units. The length of the internal part of the second secant segment is 9 minus 6 or 3. Then we apply the secant-secant power theorem. External... 4 multiplied by the entire secant segment, 4 plus 6 is equal to 10. Equals the external secant part of the, the other secant segment, which is equal to 5, multiplied by the entire secant segment, which is 5 plus 3 or 3 plus 5 or 8. Let's find out if the two sides of the equation become equal. 4 times 10 is equal to 40. 5 times 8 is equal to 40. The left-hand side of the equation equals the right-hand side of the equation. Therefore, we validated our answer. x equals 9 is correct. That's it. If you have any questions, you want further clarification, or you want to give a feedback on this video, feel free to post your comments. Again, this is Tudor Marife MCP. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video.